The Nalfeshni magically emits scintillating multicolored light. Really. The Nalfeshni, a large fiend, uh, demon, if anyone cares, should be a CR 13 with 18 AC, natural, 16 D10 hit dice, with the following stats of 21 strength, 10 dex, 22 constitution, 19 intellect, 12 wisdom, and 15 charisma. Next up, after getting all the base information out of the way, we have the skills area with con, intellect, wisdom, and charisma. So we have four saving throws here. So we'll go ahead and throw that into the tool to bump that up a little bit. And then next we have damage resistances of cold fire, lightning, bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing from non-magical attacks. So this one will be important to have in place. Adding in an additional 25% hit points, as we can see down here. And then after that, we have damage immunities to poison, but we will skip that one because it's only one condition and you need at least three to factor into the, uh, the damage immunities and resistances area. Now that, that all that information is taken care of, we can move into the monster traits here for the now Feshni. And we have magic resistance. So magic resistance here will add in plus two effective AC since you can get advantage on all magical effects that you have to roll for. And then we have nothing else for its monster traits. So from there, we can move into the action section. And we have a whole bunch of attacks and actions. The multi-attack, uh, bite, claws, horror, nimbus, recharges on five and six, and teleport. All right, so we have a plus 10 to hit from both its bite and its claws, so we'll go ahead and throw that in. And then we have, let's see here, 32 damage from its bite, coming from 5d10, so we'll throw in the five there. Get ourselves a, actually, and then also adding in the strength for 32.5 points of damage just from a bite alone. And then we move down into the claws and we'll see that our claws are dealing 15 points of damage coming from 3d6 and also from the strength for 15.5 points of damage. And then let's look at this horror nimbus. The Nalfeshni magically emits scintillating multicolored light. Really? Each creature within 15 feet of the demon uh, that can see the light, must succeed on a wisdom save, or be frightened for one minute. So this is a fear effect, and we do have a way of calculating in fears, especially since this can be done during an attack, and that would be Frightful Presence, like the Ancient Gold Dragon, or Horrifying Visage from the Banshee. And if we were to add that in now, we would get no effective hit points, because the CR of this monster is 13, and we would be fighting players over level 10. And then lastly, we have teleport, and the Nalfeshni can teleport, let's see here, up to 120 feet to an unoccupied space. So let's go and take a look at the damage look up here. Thunderstep, there we go. All right, let's take a look at Thunderstep. Thunderstep is 90 feet. So that's pretty close to the teleportation of, uh, or the range of the teleport for the Nalfeshni. Well, let's use the, the effective DPR from a level three spell, since that's pretty much the same. There we go, 29 effective DPR for teleport. We can have that there if we need it. We probably won't, but regardless, we'll give it a, you know, we'll have it there just in case. All right, and we have our multi-attack now. Let's put that together of, what was it? One bite and two claws, something like that, for a total of 63.5 uh, points of damage, not including any of the teleporting or horror nimbus. And then if we just simply do this to see what we have for our base, we'll take the 63, and multiply that times three for three rounds of combat, and we get a CR 12. Interesting. We should be a CR 13. I don't wanna say it's from the Horror Nimbus because it's a fear effect, and fear shouldn't be taking into account at this level, so fear is a third level spell, okay. All right, so that would be 29 effective DPR, just for the heck of it. We can get Horror Nimbus once. Let's see what would happen if we added in 29 effective DPR. Okay, so now we get a CR3, and it looks like they may have counted in Horror Nimbus, since you can at least get it once in one of the three rounds of combat, and then we get a C uh, CR13. I wouldn't normally want to put that in because of the, uh, the what I stated before over here. I'm gonna go with overrated, even though the fear seemed to be doing something there. 